Every year, Wesley Ward brings over an impressive team of horses to compete at the prestigious Royal Ascot meeting. Part of that team is Wesley's pony, Strike the Tiger, who also happens to be his first ever Royal Ascot winner. Wesley pays tribute to Tiger as well as to the people who contribute to his success. He started off, he's kind of pigeon-toed, you know, towed in both of his uh, front legs there. And so we really didn't have any high expectations for him. He was, uh, went through the breaking process as all the others do. And as soon as we started working him, we seen that he had uh, certainly had some speed to him. So we kind of centered in on that. The way his confirmation was, we just started him in a claimer there at uh, Churchill Downs. And it was sloppy that day and uh, he just bounced right out to the front and won. And uh, this was the, the first year I was putting my team together to come over here to Europe. And I just said, uh, well, Venus, we, we, we have several coming. We might as well put him along and because you just never know where you're at. Um, even though, like I said, he's, he's sort of won. He didn't win in, uh, by a mo wide margin, but it was on the dirt, untried. He was on the grass. And we took him over to a very, very small track, was uh, kind enough to let us on. Belterra and we gave him a workout and he just kind of flew. So I said, wow, he's, he's much better on the grass than he, than he showed in his winning effort on the dirt. You know, the first day and we were beating in our first horse, an older horse named Cannonball. And we were kind of trying to put our probably, you know, less, less uh, accomplished two-year-old be, being him in the easiest race, which would be the listed uh, Windsor Castle. And when he bounced out there and he won, it was just like, a, it's a life changer. You know what I mean? Really, it's, uh, it's amazing how you can get a, one horse can change your life. And he kind of opened up the door for, to where we are here today. Uh, he's uh, really settled in now that he's getting older. Um, in America, they have uh, claiming races. And um, so he, he couldn't compete at the stakes level when we got back. So we had him at a, a higher level claiming and uh, Guy jumped in and claimed him for, I can't remember, it was 50000 or something like that back then. And uh, uh, he went on down the ladder and I searched him out and, uh, and bought him from the, the last owner he had. Uh, Soundness-wise, he just kind of, after, after years and years of, of running, he just couldn't do it anymore. So I, I went and bought him and um, turned him into a pony. We turned him out for about a year just to get over all the issues he had from racing. and. Uh, he, was, he took right to his job. Uh, the only issue is uh, the starting gate. When he comes up to the starting gate anymore, he's, he's still, even though he's 14 years old, he's still looking at that. Uh, it's not so easy when you get back there. But other than that, he just, he's, he knows what his job is right now. He's a very smart horse, 14 years old, and he's a, just a fantastic traveling companion for all these young, unseasoned horses. Any old racehorse, when they get around the crowd, they know what they used to be. And, and uh, so he, he certainly he knows what his job is, but uh, I'm sure he's, you know, just like all of us old Tigers, we wish we were young again. Well, we've got Jose Ravelos. He was my very first employee 31 years ago when I started training. He's still here. Him and his cousin Manuel. Manuel didn't make the trip over this year, but he does annually for all these years. We've got uh, Carlos Delgadillo, who was a jockey who I rode with when I was in my teenage years. Uh, he's here with me still getting on the horses and lives and resides in Mexico. And he comes from Mexico directly here. He's kind of semi-retired, or actually is retired, and he comes out of retirement for me. And uh, we've got the old cowboy, Mike Clark, who they, uh, who's been with me since I'm 12 years old, that we know each other. And then when I started training, he was there with me. Uh, we worked together, actually, before I started training. Uh, when I first started, stopped riding, just kind of galloping. And uh, we got a new addition in Lauren, uh, Lauren Arias, and she's uh, fantastic, and that, especially that she can speak Spanish and you know, speak uh my guys' native language, and as which I do for the last 30 years. I've never spoke a word of English to him, so it's, uh, she fits right in there. <laughs>